Hello friends, welcome to Tech Electric. Myself Piyush and today's topic of our video is Protection of AC Generators and Motors. In this video, we will take a look at Merge Price Protection, Balanced Earth Fault Protection, Interton Fault Protection and Stator Overheating Protection with RTD. So let's get started. Merge Price Protection the schematic arrangement of differential protection scheme of a three-phase generator is shown in figure. There are two identical cities. Each set is mounted on either side of the stator phase winding of generator. The secondary of city sets are connected in star and their ends are connected through the pirate wires. The relay are connected across the equipotential points of the pilot wires as you can see in the figure. Under normal working condition, the currents at both ends of each winding will be equal. So EMF induced in secondaries of CT will be equal. And so no current will flow through the operating coil of the relays. But under abnormal condition, currents at both ends will no longer be similar. Therefore the induced EMF in CT secondary will not be equal. This will lead to differential current flowing through the relay operating coil which will send a trip signal in order to protect the stator winding of three-phase generator. Balanced Earth Fault Protection The schematic arrangement of a balanced earth fault protection for a three-phase generator is shown in figure. In this scheme, three line cities, one mounted in each phase, have their secondaries connected in parallel with that of a CT mounted on the conductor joining the star point of the generator to the earth through a earthing resistance. The protection against the earth fault is limited to the region between the neutral and the line cities. This scheme provides protection only in case of a earth fault and not in case of an external fault. Under normal working condition, the current flowing in the secondaries of line cities sum up to zero. Also, current flowing in the neutral city is also zero, thus the relay remains de-energized. But when an earth fault occurs within the protection zone, the fault current flows through the primary of neutral city and the corresponding secondary current flows through the relay operating coil. Therefore, the relay gets energized and sends a trip signal to socket breaker in order to protect the stator phase winding of three phase generator against the earth fault. Interturn fault protection. The protection scheme for interturn fault is shown in figure. The primary of the CTs are inserted in parallel paths and the secondaries of the CTs are cross connected as you can see in the figure. When there is no fault, currents flowing through the parallel paths of the stator winding will be equal. So no current will flow through the relay. But during interton fault in the phase winding, the currents flowing through the two parallel path will be different and the current proportional to the difference of two currents will flow through the relay which will send a trip signal to socket breaker in order to protect the stator winding against the interton fault. Stator overheating protection with RTD Generally, stator overheating is caused by sustainable overloads or by cooling system failure. Electrical overcurrent relay cannot sense the winding temperature accurately because temperature rise depends on I square RT and also on cooling. Electrical protection cannot detect failure of the cooling system. Therefore, the general practice is to embed RTD that is resistance temperature detector coil or thermocouples in the slots below the stator coils for protection against overheating. Enough of such detectors are located at different places in the winding so that an indication can be obtained of the temperature condition throughout the stator. Detected operated relaying system using a Wheatstone bridge circuit and a directional relay is shown in the figure. During normal condition, the bridge is so balanced that the potential across the relay operating coil is zero. So no current flows through it. But during overheating, RTD changes its resistance. 
as it is the basic property of RTD that it changes its resistance as the temperature changes. Therefore, the Wistron bridge becomes unbalanced and therefore a potential difference is created across the relay operating coil, due to which a current flows through the relay operating coil. Therefore, it gets energized and sends a trip signal to circuit breaker in order to protect the stator winding against the overheating caused due to sustainable overloads or by cooling system failures. That's it for today's session. If you like the video, hit the like button and share the video with your friends. Do subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for notification of more such videos. Thank you.